up, YouTube? It's your boy Mike45923 back with another, finally, another Beater Box unboxing. This time, we got a box from someone who doesn't even resell shoes. My boy Steve hit me up. If you guys don't know who Steve is, he also goes by the name of Fade Soul. I'm pretty sure you guys know who that is now. Dude hit me up. He was like, yo, bro, I got a lot of stuff I want to get rid of. Would you be interested in a box? I was like, why the hell not? So what he sent over was a $1,050 beater box. Um, I don't know what's in it. All I know is he told me it would be worth every penny. So I was like, you know what, bro? I trust you. We're going to do this. Oh, man, I almost forgot. We actually have a sponsor for this video. So this is the new Soul Supreme tea dubbed the Soul Purpose. This tea comes in a super clean oatmeal colorway with a dope sneaker print design on the back. On the front, you have the message to rock your kicks. Give you the quick spin around. Super fresh. First impression is there's a lot of pairs in this box. Like a lot. It's easily, easily over 10 pairs in here. That's crazy. So we do have some Lucy's. They do look like they're small sizes. Um, let me get this first one out. We have a pretty worn pair, a little dusty, pair of the Aqua 8s in a size 5Y. Based off the glitter on the midsole, this is the 2015 pair. Um, there is some dust. I hope that's not mold. We got some dust on them. Just got to be dusted, deep cleaned. And I think these will be a uh, good one. <sighs> Next one up is a pretty dusty pair of Bread 11. Obviously, these are GS size. Let me see what, what year are these. These are a size 5Y. And we got the 2012 pair of Bread 11s. Um, other than them being dirty, they are pretty clean. Doesn't seem to have any sort of separation. Uh, you got some wear on the bottom, but nothing cr too crazy. Just got to clean them up, really. But overall, breads can't go wrong these are almost an instant sale <sighs> so this is the hard part because i really have no idea what box to go for oh wait let, let's see oh. oh we got a gs box we have a size 4y obviously we know what these are these are the recent pair of the uh Cool grays. Oh, my man sent us some BS Cool Gray 11s. Try it on. Nope. Dead stock. Factory lace. Beautiful. Oh, can't complain with a DS shoe. Cannot complain about a DS shoe. I don't care what size it is. This is definitely going to be a good one, too. I hope this ain't the money shoe, though. All right, so one thing I noticed, we have some LeBrons in this box. We know LeBrons are not moving like they used to, but uh, Steve, I know you ain't gonna do me grimy. Let's see what we have here. We have a LeBron 17 low, white, white, university red and a size eight. This is probably like a GR. Oh, nah. Okay. Wait. These got the laces in them too? I mean, lace bag attached? He sent us a DS pair of the LeBron Space Jam Toon Squads. Yes. That's that Bugs Bunny fur on the side. Damn, another DS shoe? Can't complain. Can't complain. I mean, it's a LeBron. I don't know what these go for. Probably like 
75, 100 bucks. You know, these ain't MJ Space Jams. These are LeBron's. We don't care about those. Wow. All right. So that right there, that's two back-to-back DS pairs, man. Another 17. 2K20? LeBron 17, white, metallic, silver. 2K20. Oh, this Laker colorway is dope. Wait, are these those exclusives that you could only get if you unlocked in 2K? I have no idea because I'm a Call of Duty guy. I don't play 2K. They clean, though. Wait. Oh, these are DS. Oh, my man sent us. That's three back-to-back DS pairs, bro. Damn. We got to... Nah, these can't be. Yeah. Factory laced. Let me see that. Yeah, buddy. Damn. <sighs> right now, three out of five pairs. Five pairs already? And three are DS. From what I can see here, I still got another seven pairs to go. This guy went nuts. Oh, we got another LeBroni. This was this is a LeBron eight box. LeBron eight quick strike, varsity royal and white. Sprites? Oh no. Okay. Wait. These look factory lace too. Another DS pair. We got the hardwood classic LeBron 8. What size are you? Ah, oh, in a size nine and a half. These might be keepers, maybe. Can't hurt to keep them. I don't know what the market is on them. These are definitely dope. I remember when this shoe was a, strictly a PE, couldn't get it anywhere unless you had to connect and you were paying thousands and thousands of dollars. From what I've seen recently, what are these going for, like 150? I know it ain't retail. The fact that we got six pairs already and we still have a full box to go. All right, I'm gonna go with this generic Nike box because I kind of recognize everything else. Uh, we got a women's Nike Dunk Low special edition, size 11. Did he just give me an outlet pair? Safari Primal. Safari Primal. We got a dunk with different textures on the swoosh. Clean colorway. Might have been worn once. No. This is another dead stock. Nah, these are tried on. No. These might be dead stock too. What the f five DS pairs back to back to back to back to back. Look like wow. I hit the jackpot on this one. Alright, so we're gonna go with another Nike box because it was right next to this one. Air more up tempo 96. Varsity red, white, and black. Up tempo 96. Oh. Oh, I know y'all like these. I know y'all like these. These are the Air More Up Tempo Chicago Bulls. It's dope. It says 96 right here. Oh, I didn't know it said it. I didn't know it said air and patent leather, though. It's pretty dope. Lightly worn? No. Yo. Bro. There's no lint. There's nothing on these. This dude gave us another dead stock pair of shoes. I'm not sure what these go for though. I mean, he 
even if I could get retail, what's retail on these? 200? Oh, 160. Pretty sure it's still good value, especially DS. This guy's gonna just have me put everything on StockX, even though I hate StockX. But the boxes are pristine and they're all DS pairs. Oh my goodness. Yo, I've never had a box where I had this many DS pairs. I barely get DS pairs as it is. I'm gonna take out this ugly red Jordan box. Uh, women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High and an 11 and a half light iron or varsity red. I'm not familiar with this colorway. Oh, I know these. These are the on sales because these just, I'm pretty sure these just went on sale for sure. This is definitely an outlet shoe, but, um, oh, yeah. based on these creases, they're probably, no, they're fine. They're not laced. Another one? Yo, Steve, you went nuts, bro. This guy just gave us another... Well, I don't know. Based on those creases, I'm skeptical to say that these are DS, but the fact that they aren't laced and the bottoms are flawless. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing on that sole whatsoever. And nothing on the sock liner. He gave us another seven straight pairs of DS shoes. If this whole box is DS, <clears throat> we're going to go with this alternate Jordan 1 box. Another women's Air Jordan 1. White and border blue. <sighs> that is just scream. Oh, the paper is cool. Looks like a chain, like some old retro looking jewelry he sent us a pair of the denims they're not laced up the insides are clean he did it we are on the eighth straight dead stock pair of kicks this dude sent us the women's air jordan one denim in a size 11 and a half that's like a what men's 10 in dead stock condition bro please i'm sweating profusely just bear with me oh another ds pair of kicks eight straight ds pairs he went nuts super clean i'm i know these went for good good money man i'm i'm not sure if the market's still there on them I'm gonna have to come back to you for another beta box, Steve. You going on? All right, this box is beat up. I don't know what's in it though. Now I do. Air Jordan 3 Retro, white, true blue, size eight and a half. All right, so it looks what we got the 2016 pair of true blue. No. Oh, and these definitely ain't DS. All right, the streak has been broken. But we have a fairly worn pair of the 2011 Air Jordan 3 in the true blue colorway. I know a lot of people appreciate this one as opposed to the 2016 pair that just wasn't really true blue. But people always find reasons to complain. We got the military blues and people pissed off that they're the industrial blues. But bro, just take what you can get or just don't buy them. What else can be said? All in all, these are clean though. You got almost no creasing here. Logo's gone on the insole. Overall, midsoles are super firm. I might be a little, I might be afraid of this back cab cracking or whatnot, but other than that, these are pretty good. There's no star loss. Can't complain. The other one seems to be in same condition more or less a little marking here these just need to be cleaned up they're in they're in really good condition and the midsoles are firm so more than likely they're still wearable i waited for the oldest box to be the last box so what we have here is an oldie hopefully it's a goodie air jordan 4 retro 
my favorite model, and an eight and a half. All right. Okay. We have a size eight and a half in the Air Jordan 4 Pure Money. These have seen better days. The creasing is minimal. Star loss is not too crazy. It's really not much, actually, to be honest with you. They just dirty and oxidize for the most part. Oh, they are peeling, though. That's not good. I mean, I'll do my best to freshen them up for whoever wants them. But all in all, I know these are going to be good for the counter because people just love pure money for whatever reason. I'm not sure what it is. As you can see here, it has the pure dollar sign on the back tab. Oxidation is heavy, but I know I can get rid of that. The insoles are... Sock liner needs some, some tough love. But all in all, man, I think this is going to be... This is the money shoe, for sure. This is the money shoe, because I know these go for really, really decent money. And they're not in horrible condition. Some elbow grease. And I'm pretty sure I can get a good dollar for this. Steve? Babe? I appreciate you, bro. This was something else. Normally, I really don't like the quantity over the quality. But this box had a little bit of both. So we're definitely going to make some good money on these. Especially with all the DS pairs. And then some of them are actually, you know kind of sought out pairs like the pure the true blues i'm pretty sure the ones are good money what are your thoughts on this box four thousand dollars 12 pairs banger as usual guys please feel free to like subscribe comment share and on to the next one peace